this is Mato. In this video I will show you the game between Nigel Short and Gary Kasparov. This is the game from round 3. Kasparov Short Blitz match that was played in St. Louis, United States in 2015. Nigel Short had white pieces and he started with B3, going for Nimtsov Larsen attack. Kasparov played knight to f6, bishop to b2, g6, g3, bishop to g7, bishop to g2, d5, knight to f3, c5, and both players castle the kingside. e3, knight to c6, knight to e5, black to move. This position has been seen before. And what black plays in this position is a queen to d6, queen to c7, and knight takes on e5. Kasparov played a novelty, bishop to d7. c4, d4, knight takes knight, bishop takes knight, bishop takes bishop, pawn takes bishop. So white has inflicted a damage to the pawn structure. And the expense. What is the expense? Weaknesses on light squares around white king. Okay, the game continued. d3, queen to d7, queen to e2, d takes on e3, f takes on e3, rook from a to d8, threatening queen takes pawn on d3, defending h5, intending knight to g4, knight to c3, knight to g4, knight to a4, threatening knight takes pawn on c5, bishop takes bishop, knight takes bishop, if queen takes on b3, then knight takes on e3, so we have knight takes on b2, queen to e6, attacking the pawn on e3, threatening queen takes pawn, rook to e1, h4, g takes on h4, black to move. In this position, Kasparov made a plan for the attack. What would you do if you had black pieces? This is what Kasparov played. What is the plan? The plan is to bring both rooks to the h-file and attack along the h-file. Will it work? Let's have a look. Queen to g2, rook to h8, threatening rook takes pawn. Queen to g3 defending, rook to h5, h3 attack in the knight, knight to e5, rook from a to d1, rook from d to h8, d4 attack in the knight, knight to d7, knight to d3, rook takes on h4, threatening rook takes pawn on h3, knight to f2 defending the pawn, knight to f6, queen to e5, black to move. This is very interesting position. Let's call this position the most critical position of the game. What would you do? Please pause the video and find the best move for black. What did you find? This is what Kasparov played. Rook takes on h3. Queen takes queen. If knight takes rook, then queen takes knight is winning for black. So we have queen takes on e6. Black to move. How would you continue now? Is pawn takes queen good? Just to show you, if pawn takes queen, 
then white is winning. So what is the best move for black? This is the key move. Rook to g3 check. King to f1 and now pawn takes queen. King to e2, rook to h2, rook to h1, rook from h to g2, rook from d to f1, knight to g4, more pressure on the knight on f2 plus the threat is rook takes pawn on e3, rook to h4, rook takes pawn on e3 check, king to d2, rook to e4, rook takes knight, rook from e takes on g4, d takes on c5, rook to f4, threatening to win the knight, king to e3, defending the knight and attacking the rook, black to move, black, play the move when white resigned, the move is Kasparo played e5 and Nigel Short resigned. One line goes like this, king to e2 and then the pawn on g file is marching forward. King to e1, g4, a4, g3. Where is the knight going? If knight to h3, then rook to e4 check, king to d1 and now rook to h4, rook to g1, rook takes rook, knight takes rook, pinning and winning. And let's go back to this most critical position of the game. This is the position. Did you find rook takes on h3? But this does not work if you don't follow up with rook to g3. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.